Good morning. Happy Sunday. How is everyone's morning so far? Hopefully you're all having a good day so far. Oh, hi, Shireen. And of course, my dogs are playing right by my feet. It's so funny. They just are glued to me. They cannot leave my side. Okay, so while everyone's hopping on, I'm going to do a couple things that are just kind of, you know, a little more boring, to be honest. So I'm going to fix these brows as I usually do just while you guys are hopping on and um, before I get to like the really fun stuff like the eyes. Um, hi guys, if you're gonna be that loud, you're gonna have to get up and say hi to people. Good morning. Hi from Italy, hi from Malaysia, wow. Let me actually move this like that. You're so sweet, Jamba Jackson, oh my gosh, thank you. Do you guys hear these dogs? They are absolutely ridiculous. Hi from Croatia. Wow, Philly. I love seeing where everyone's tuning in from. It's so fun. I know we're on all completely different time zones, so I appreciate anyone who's watching during like not the most ideal time. I appreciate the view and just hanging out with me. It's really, it's so sweet. Hi, Nancy. Grace is from Atlantic City. I went to Atlantic City like six years ago for work. No, you can't eat that sponge, thank you. Hi from Utah, Oklahoma, to Toronto, wow, Illinois, all over the place. So how's everyone's weekend so far? I can't believe it's already Sunday. It seems like I blink and my weekend is over. Not to sound dramatic, you know, but it just goes by super quick. It's, um, it's just wild how fast the weekend goes by, right? North Carolina, Sweden. Wow. Oh my God. You guys are from all over. This is crazy. In a great way. I love it. Okay. So I'm just using my clay to poe concealer in the shade almond and a flat Angie hot and Fa uh, hot and flashy brush. That's the name of her set, which is really cute. It's also the name of her YouTube channel. If you don't know, she's a YouTuber and um, she's got some amazing videos. But this is her flat concealer brush. On vacation in Vegas. Wow, how hot is it? I hope you're having a great vacation. Okay. Getting this cleaned up. I also have a Really lovely pimple on my cheek, or sorry, not my cheek, it's above my lip. That's cute, Oh, Oh, lovely, I'm having a loop, if you don't mind, I'm gonna read this comment, sorry guys. I'm having a lupus flare on my, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, it's act up as well, so this weekend I slept in a lot. My mom has lupus, and she actually is having a lupus flare right now, so I my heart goes out to you, I'm so sorry. I know how rough lupus is, lupus is in general, but um, my mom has a really hard time in the summertime, especially. She gets a ton of like skin irritations. Um, lupus is known for like the rashes. So right now she's dealing with a really awful rash. My mom just doesn't have like <laughs> the best luck with her health. Oh, you have lupus too, Sammy. Wow. Yeah, that's a really tough one. I am sorry. I, I I know exactly the things you are going through because I've watched them. I watched my mom deal with it my whole life. My mom was really, really sick before she found out she had lupus. I was a kid. I was like, I think I was like probably, I know I was under five because I lived in a certain house. But anyway, I was really young. And, um, oh, Brittany. No, my mom misses you too. She's just always busy. But my mom got really, really sick, or she was always really sick when I was young, like really, really young, like I said, like under five. And the doctors didn't know what the heck was going on. They had no idea. I'm gonna put some highlighter on from, also from, oh, from West Mentally. I was gonna say Clay Depot, but it looks like Clay Depot. Anyway, so my mom was always really sick and out of the hospital and they couldn't figure out what the heck was wrong with her. And I just remember being like so worried about her when I was a kid. I'm still constantly worried about her, to be honest. But they finally, 
finally, like it took years to figure out what was actually wrong with her. And they finally were able to diagnose her with lupus. And um, yeah, anyway, she's had it since I was a kid. It's always been a struggle. So I'm doing a, a liquid illuminator under my makeup. And I just want like glowy, fresh skin, even though I'm not having the best skin time at the moment. Um, I have like a pimple here. I have a really painful one above my lip. Oh, lovely. You're, yeah, so that's interesting. I, I, I hear a lot that you get diagnosed after children. I don't know if that's a common thing, but I, I hear that a lot. <laughs> Skincare and beauty with Perky Perkins. I am happy you made it to my live too. Hi, Karen. Okay, so I'm just gonna get some glow on my skin. The most famous person I've done makeup for, probably some men. Um, I've done a lot of like men's grooming in my life on famous men. I feel like a lot of people know. Um, but also I've done, I've done many of people. Um, I used to do Tori Spelling a lot and she doesn't really do anything anymore. So I don't really, I'm not really part of her routine. Um, I used to do Rachel Zoe but I was never Rachel Zoe's main girl. Like she always had like a, a main makeup artist and I would kind of fill in periodically. Um, who else? Brooke Burke is my girl. I love my Brooke Burke. I haven't seen her in a minute because my schedule is awful and I'm never available for her. But um, lots of people. Tara Lipinski I do pretty often. So I'm gonna get this makeup going. I'm really excited for this makeup look because I, if you all know like, the famous, now famous, like, or viral, I should say, makeup trend, like the latte makeup trend, where it's like the latte makeup look. It's like all earth tones, very brown, um, kind of on the warm side. And I want to do something different. I want to start like a new trend. I want to do espresso eyes. So <laughs> I don't know if it's going to pick up. It probably won't take off and nobody will probably do it, but I just want to switch it up and do something that, um, I don't know. I was just inspired by like deep, rich, like more of a cool tone, neutral, dark brown. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'm very excited. So in reality, I should really do my eyes first because they're going to be a little bit on the darker side. So I'm going to put my foundation down, but stay tuned because I'm going to put my Dior, my new reformulated Dior backstage face and body on for my foundation. I did a little quick reel talking about it on my Instagram and it is, it's so good. It's just as good as the old one. I can't, to be quite honest, I really can't tell the difference. Um, it's very hard to to pick out like what's different about it because it's very, very similar to the original formula. The, the main thing that I say in the video is that I think it's more of a satin plus a little glow to the finish. Like has a, it's satin, but it's teetering on being glowy. Come here. And if you're wondering who is making all of the noise to me, it's this guy. Tomas likes to play with Bear every time I go live. So, you know, just say hi, cause you're you're being very loud and very distracting and and Mitch didn't take you in the living room. So now I'm stuck with you in the studio, which, you know, you're adorable, but you're being really loud. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna need you to just chill for a second. Thank you. Okay, back to the makeup. What I was saying is the Dior Backstage Face by the new reformulation is like, a true satin plus teetering on being a little more glowy. Whereas the original formula was just like a, a true satin to slightly matte, if that makes sense. So it's very, very similar, but it's there's a little slight difference in the finish. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get my eyes going and I'm gonna prep my eyelids with an eyeshadow base. This is the Make eye shaping stilo. It's basically um, like a matte shadow stick. And the shade that I'm going to use is umber. So let's get closer to this camera. I'm going to run it all on the base of my eyelid. It's going to look dark for a bit. Janine, I think colored mascara is super fun. Like a purple, I love purple mascara. Um, a dark blue. I think it could be definitely fun for like certain occasions. 
Now I'm gonna pat it into my eye, <clears throat> excuse me, with an Angie Hot and Flashy A501 and just press it onto my eyelid. These tend to spread, like spread out very easily and I don't want it to be all over the place. I wanna keep it a little more controlled. So I'm gonna use a patting motion to push it onto my eyelid first. Hi, Elizabeth, I'm glad you made it too. Sorry for the chaos of my dogs. <laughs> You know, there's always something in real life. So pressing it on and just kind of diffusing the edge. Will you please say, hi, Aaron? Oh my God, hi, Aaron. I'm sorry if I've never said your, your name before. I, I must not have caught it. I am so sorry. But hello, Aaron. Thank you for joining. Blitz Chihuahua passed away. Oh no, Kimber. I'm so sorry to hear that. Is there a makeup trend that I wish would go away? That's a really good question. Um, there's a couple. There's a couple that are just kind of like, what's, why, why are we doing this? And it's like that, um, it's like a ombre blush concealer where they do a dot of concealer and then blush and then a couple other tones and they mix it all together. You know, why? What's the point of that? Just just place them individually separate and you'll get a much better result. The other thing that's always kind of bothered me is when people take an excessive amount of time to dot on all these dots of foundation and they dot on a bunch of blush and they dot on their contour, and they dot on their highlighter and then they blend it in. It just seems like, and they try to act like it's a really good, you know, technique that you should try. It's not a good technique that you should try. It's a really time consuming way of putting your makeup on and I don't recommend it. Oh, Nancy. I'm glad you liked the Q&A video. I hope it was somewhat entertaining. I know it was a little long, but it felt appropriate. It felt like the timing was right because I had so many new subscribers. It just, it felt like the timing was, was right. That is on and packed on. Now I'm gonna to switch to a blending brush, like an actual proper blending brush. And I'll use my BK Beauty 212. And I'm gonna to start to blend into the crease. Oh, someone just said, please ask Girlactic to do app to start after pay. That's a really good idea. I'm surprised they don't have that. Maybe they don't know of it? I don't know. That's a good, I'm going to definitely bring that up to, I'll text Galit after this and tell her to do after pay. Thank you for that suggestion. Oh, I'm so happy you caught my life too. I do not self tan. Um, I am naturally pretty tan, but I, I will tell you my legs pretty much never see the sun. It's rare. So my legs do get a little pasty compared to the rest of my body. So I, I will use like every once in a while. There's one from Tan Lux that I really like. It's like a gradual tanning lotion. It's really nice, like really, really nice. So if you're interested in that, I'll put in my stories or something like that so you can see. But anything from Tan Lux is a good buy. They have really good products. Okay, we're gonna get into it. And I brought out the old, that's now, I feel like it's an old school palette now because it's been out for a while, but, and I kind of forgot about it, to be honest. I was using it a lot for a minute and then I got, I just forgot about it. It's the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette. The one thing I will say about this palette, I do love it, but the fallout is so bad. The fallout is really, really bad. So just, just putting that out there um, in case you need that information. I do love the palette still though. I think it's still a beautiful palette and it's got um, just really gorgeous shades. Okay, I'm gonna dip into this more mid, well, it's more of a deep mid-tone neutral brown and pack it on top of that make eyeshadow. My favorite Led Zeppelin song is Over the Hills and Far Away. That's my all-time favorite Led Zeppelin song. Thank you for asking. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Sending you a big hug for that super thanks. 
Yeah, it's just something to note about the palette. Going back, I'm just gonna blend some more. It's gonna be a lot of blending. But the Mario Master Mattes palette does not have this fallout at all. Like it's completely, it's like a good solid palette. I use it almost every single day at work, literally. I really enjoyed you. By the way, I met Susie and Ed. I, oh my God, you to the people? Is that what that's for? Um, that's so awesome you got to meet Susan. I missed the tail end of your comment. So if there's a question in that comment, please ask me again. I don't have Mitch again with me. He is busy taking care of some stuff on the house. Okay, I'm gonna read this really quick. Everyone asks why you're I wanna be your hair routine. Oh, you're so sweet. You know, you guys, I'm gonna be really honest with you. My hair is, it was doing really well, like really doing great. And I went, of course, I, I finally have learned this about myself and my body. Anytime I go, anytime I get stressed out, like overly stressed out, which I have been lately, my hair falls out. It's like clockwork and I've lost, I feel like I've lost all of my regrowth. My hair is pretty thin now. Um, it's still a nice shape, you know, it's still like silky and it still is um, very healthy to the touch but I've lost a lot of my, my regrowth that I worked really hard to get. So, oh yeah, Song, you understand what I'm going through. It's just hard. Anytime I'm stressed out, my hair just goes, oh, oh bye, peace, <laughs> we're leaving you. <laughs> we're, we're out, <laughs> sorry. So, I mean, I laugh about it because like, what can you do? I can only laugh about it. It's just, it's been an ongoing thing that I've been dealing with since 2017. That's when I started, that's when I started seeing um, my hair fall out or started noticing, I should say. But you know, it's just, hair is an interesting thing. There's so many things that could be tied to it. Um, I'm still taking my Nutrafol and I feel like my Nutrafol is helping me keep some of my hair, like helping me maintain or hold on to the hair that I have, which is great. But you know, it's, it's always just a battle because there's so many internal things that could be triggering hair loss that, you know, it, it takes, it's hard to get to the bottom of, especially with, you know, just the, the medical system that we are in. It could be a little bit challenging to get to the root cause. I love that there's a lot of Led Zeppelin fans on my live. That makes me so happy. What concealer do I recommend for the Dior Backstage? Oh, I'm sorry. What concealer do I recommend more? Dior or the Backstage? Or sorry. No, sorry. It was Dior or the Hourglass. I'm like mixing up all my words reading all these comments. Sorry about that. Um, I recommend the Hourglass more. It's more coverage. You need a tiny little drop of it. Um, it's just my favorite formula. It's one of my favorite formulas. I think it's phenomenal. So I like it more than the Dior. Even though I, I use the Dior, it's not my all-time favorite. Okay, so my eyes are gonna be pretty smoky. They're gonna look really messy right now until they get cleaned up. So it's a process. Blend this on. It does look even darker on camera or in this lighting. So what we're gonna do now go back to the Makeup by Mario palette. And I'm gonna use just, I wanna use a touch of this right here, this like shimmery shade, but just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. And put it right by my top lash line, right here. Nice, Susan. Would you do a video rating a full face of Glossier? 
I trust your recommendations. You're the best. Oh, thank you so, so much. That's so sweet of you. You know, I'm going to tell you right off the bat because my lives are all about being honest and just uh, not really being filtered at all. I'm not a Glossier, Glossier fan. It, it, I've never been like a Glossier girl. It's never been like my scene. I'm like a true, I love makeup, like makeup, makeup. And Glossier was always, how do I say this in a nice way that doesn't sound like super mean? Glossier to me always felt like the the cool cool girls that you can't sit sit with, you know, like it, that was the vibe that it gave off to me, and that always just really turned me off and rubbed me the wrong way about them. The only things I've really ever given a good try to are, or like really tried, they're like product wise are the um, the liquid pens for your brows. Those are nice, so they're great, but I, I have since found um, a dupe and it's my NYX Lift and Snatch. I will forever be using those brow pens because I think they're phenomenal. But yeah, they just, the vibe they, they gave off back in the day just really um, rubbed me the wrong way, to be completely honest. I didn't like the, like the way they presented themselves was very like, you're not cool enough to be our friend kind of vibe. I could be completely off with this. This, but this is my like personal perception of the brand, like the vibe that it gave me as a consumer. So, um, but with that said, I'm still open to giving them a good try again and doing a full face. I'm always down for a full face of one brand. You know, I, I love doing those videos, and I haven't done one in a while. That actually reminds me, it's been a minute since I've done one. I think the last one that I did was Patrick Ta. Was that the last full face brand I did? So I'm just tight lining right now. With my Girlactic brown retractable gel liner. But also I just felt like Glossier didn't have something for everyone. I feel like they never had an inclusive, whole hearted brand, in my opinion. I'm gonna take a makeup wipe <clears throat> and I'm gonna look straight ahead. I can't wait for my foundation video to come out. I know, me too. Cannot wait. Just clean that up. Oh, thank you. I don't know what it is. I wish I knew the name. My girl did a great job. And she helped pick out the color. This is gonna get cleaned up and blended in, so don't don't mind that yet. Now, I'm gonna grab my Refer Lash Curler and curl these lashes. And Paul, I do I do plan on doing uh, different variations of this video that we we're just talking about. So if you don't know what we're talking about, yesterday I finished filming um, a full on video trying every single drugstore foundation that is sold. So I tried on 45 different drugstore foundations, all liquid. So I didn't do powders. I didn't do, yeah, I didn't do powders basically is what I left out. So I want to do powders in a different video and have it be separate, but I'm hoping to get this video edited and up this coming Saturday, like next Saturday, because I just can't wait for it. I'm so excited. And I will tell you like for my people that are on my live right now, you get the inside dirt. There are so many great drugstore foundations. I was shocked. I was honestly completely shocked at how many I loved. In fact, I wanted to use one for this live, but then I, I just, I want to do my Dior and I want to like save my drugstore foundations for after the video is out. So we're going to wait. Let me get some mascara on. This is the Girlactic Lash Play Duo. I'm going to use the lengthening side. And just lengthen my lashes. You know, surprisingly, surprisingly, Evelyn, my face is doing pretty good. Um, trying on 45 foundations later was not as rough on my skin, which is so crazy, right? But it's not, it wasn't as rough on my skin as applying 55 bronzers and all those blushes that I, when I did those other two videos, um, 
Yeah, the foundation, it wasn't, it didn't feel great taking one on and putting one back on over and over again, but it wasn't as hard on my skin as the bronzer and the blush video, which was surprising. I thought it was going to be way worse, you know, considering it just, it's more of a covering product, right? But it wasn't. I mean, I still felt irritated, but not nearly as much as I thought it was going to. So that was good. Yeah, Janine, I think you're gonna love the drugstore one. It's gonna be so much fun when it comes out. So, so much fun. And I will say it was a lot cheaper than I thought it was gonna be. Like, it wasn't It wasn't like affordable to buy all the drugstore foundations, but it was like the number that I pictured in my head that I was gonna spend, it, it didn't even come close to that. So I was happy in that regard for sure. Okay, a little more mascara, and then I'm gonna do a couple fun lashes. Okay, I'm not gonna go crazy with the mascara because I'm gonna put on, I'm going to put on some lashes anyway and I don't wanna have too much, too much in the way of that. So let me just grab my lash glue. I'm gonna grab this Huda Beauty waterproof lash glue and just squeeze a little bit out on the top of my hand. This is a, a dark formula, so it's gonna dry pretty much black on my skin, on my lash line. So for lashes, I bought these on Amazon. I'll try to find a link to them, but they, they usually are in my makeup kit for like fun, like a little bit more of like a spiky mascara, like lash look. They, I feel like these were like 12 or $13 for um, the set. It also came with like lash glue and a little um, tweezer thing to apply them. So, Vivian, have I tried the Kiss Impression Lashes? I have something, did I try those? I tried something from a different brand. I think it was, maybe it was Kiss. Um, let me look and see if I actually did try them before I answer that question. I feel like I did try them and I wasn't thrilled with them, but I could, it could be something different that I'm getting mixed up. Let me grab my tweezers. So I'm gonna grab a couple lashes and show you these up close. They're like kind of spiky. They're really neat. Just gonna take a couple. Okay, now here is where I need to kind of look super close to a mirror. Hold please. but they're really cool. Like once they're on, I'm only gonna put like probably three on each side. So I'm just dipping into the glue. So that's two of them. Really cool. I just love the look that they give off. I think they're so, it's so different, so unique. They're like a spiky, wispy look. I'm so sorry if I'm missing any questions. Okay, so that is three. Let's do the other side. And then I think, I don't know if I'm gonna add any more. I think I wanna keep it pretty simple and just do the three and call it good. I don't wanna overwhelm my eyes with too many. Someone just asked, I just caught the, the, the end of that question, if I use tretinoin. I don't use actual tretinoin. I do use a retinol. But um, yeah, I, I've always been curious to try like a, a true like prescription grade tretinoin. I heard it's really um, intense and you have to get used to it and stuff. So that's kind of made me hesitant. Two more. Let me 
grab a more big one. Sorry for all the, can't look. Hmm. Let's do one more on each side. Why not? Let's just do one more. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. I'm glad I did that. I felt a little incomplete. So one more on this end and then I'll be able to answer some questions. Ooh. Oh, doing lashes on yourself can be very challenging. <laughs> Even for me and I'm used to doing this on my clients. Okay. okay. This one just feels longer than the rest. I don't know if I got like the wrong size. Almost done, guys. Almost done. Please hang in there. Okay. I found a small one. We're getting there. Paula, you're allergic to every lash glue. You Have you tried... The Kiss Aloe Lash Glue. It's latex free. It has obviously aloe in it. And it's, um, I, I want to say it's specifically made for sensitive eyes. You should try that one out because I've never had a hard time with that one. I've never had a client that's, you know, irritated with that. Wait, Song, you are a Scorpio? My husband's a Scorpio. And I'm a Capricorn. Which brought me, speaking of my Scorpio husband. He brought me a, a Starbucks, so I'm I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Have like a nice fresh coffee to go. Okay, let's get into the face. I am going to put my Dior foundation on. I switched shades from, two, uh, what was I wearing? 2W, which is this one right here. A lot more yellow. I switched to 2.5N, and I really like this shade on me. I think it's a really pretty good shade. So I'm, I'm very happy with the new shade that I picked out. And uh, let me show you what it looks like on. I'm going to apply it with my double-ended Patrick Ta brush and start in the center. Scorpios do love hard. Let me tell you, boy, is that true. <laughs> Mitch will tell you the same thing. They really do. Song, what, when's your birthday? If you're a Scorpio, what are you an October Scorpio? Are you a November? Mitch is an October Scorpio. He's October 25th. So the way this foundation blends on is like, it's like a second skin. It's like butter. Oh, November 8th. Wow. So the way it just sits on your skin is beautiful. It looks just so skin-like. That's the reason why I loved it in the first place. Like, it's such a beautiful foundation. Well, we have a lot of Scorpios watching right now. I love this. So fun. And we got a Cancer. Borderline Libra, but true Scorpio. I love that. Veronica's November 8th, too. Oh, this is so fun. Juliana is November 1st. Almost a Halloween baby. That's so cute. I love that. November Scorpio. There's so many Scorpios. What? Nancy is a Sagittarius. My mom's a Sagittarius. I'm out Aquarius February 2nd. Capricorn baby, just like me. Aries. Oh my gosh. I just saw a December 31st birthday. Wow. You are a day before me. I'm January 1st. Cindy is a Libra. Cancer, Aries, Pisces. This is so fun. Oh my gosh. I love this. is like I'm so entertaining. I love seeing these birthdays. I'm a Capricorn. Probably feel like I know it's so cute. November fourth. Wow. I'm trying to read these quick. October twenty eighth. So awesome. Capricorn. I mean, wait. What was that? I'm a nasty Virgo. Is that what you said? So fun. Okay. As you guys were telling me your birthdays and your signs, which was a blast, 
I got my foundation on and my skin just loves this foundation. Okay, so just blending this on. Did I miss someone's birthday? If I did, happy birthday. If you missed the foundation too, it's the Dior, the newly reformulated Dior Backstage Face and Body. And it will all be, I'll start linking things too. I'll, it'll be linked in the description box of this live once it's uploaded. So once it's done, it'll all be in there. <laughs> okay, so now I need some color or some spot concealing. I'm going to use my one of my favorite concealers for that. It's the um, Soft Matte Concealer from NARS. I wear the shade Tiramisu. And I'm just going to take a big Real Techniques brush and tap it onto this ridiculous pimple that hurts so bad currently. I just push it in. And let's cover up this bad boy. Hmm. Contra from doing it should yeah, you could do it. I would I'd say stick to like when in doubt if you're doing a cool tone eye makeup look, you could do a cool tone blush, cool tone lip to go with it. But I think that's it's also equally beautiful to mix different undertones with a makeup look. You have to be careful though, which, you know, how, what colors you choose and, and why, because some colors just don't play that well together. Um, but I think in general, like doing a cool tone eye and then doing a warm blush, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> okay. I'll just take whatever's left over on this brush and just buff my under eyes. Oh, welcome, your first time watching the live and you got my collab. You have to keep me posted and let me know how you like the products. And if you have any questions on how to use it, please send me a DM and let me know. But thank you so much for buying my collab. That makes me, that just is so awesome. I hope you love everything. I don't doubt that you will love everything though. I have full confidence. Okay, I'm gonna go to another concealer. This is my under eye brightener from Rare Beauty. It's in the shade light medium. I love this product so much. Willie, my day has been very good so far. How is yours? Thank you for asking. And I can't believe we're already 37 minutes into this live. What happens to time? It just evaporates. Oh no, you have to go. Okay, well have a great rest of your day and thank you for joining me as long as you did. Thank you, Sophia. It's gonna look messy for a minute. This is so similar to the e.l.f. under eye brightener. Um, I do think this gives more coverage though. Just, just slightly, not a ton more, but a little more coverage. I'm running out of mine, just in case you're wondering like where the product is. It's like, I have to like get along the side to get the rest of it. Oh, we got a Leo. Okay, now I'm gonna take <clears throat> one of my pawpaw sponges and just tap it in. Julie, welcome to my live. I'm so happy you made it. My, f my filthy, dirty, birdie car is now clean. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh man. My car is once again filthy from the week. It has so many bugs on the front end, it's crazy. Someone's asking for a recommendation for a drugstore foundation for mature skin. Just hold on, just wait till next week because I cover, I, I tell each, um, well, I, I give a description of each one at the end of the application and I say whether or not it's, for, it's good for mature skin, oily skin and all those things. It's gonna be a very in-depth, very informative video. So if you can wait till next Saturday before that video comes out before you make your decision on what drugstore foundation to buy for mature skin. But I will tell you just ahead of time, there are so many great options for mature skin at the drugstore. There's so, so many good ones. So just, if you can wait a little longer till that video comes out because I'm really proud of it and it's gonna be really good. Okay, so just tapping on more of this highlighter. Got our espresso eyes going. 
blend out this crease. Okay. Now for blush, I wanna do something really soft and really natural. I'm gonna do a cream blush from Nude Six. It's the Nude Buff shade. And what I'd like to do, no surprise here, what I like to do is just take it onto my brush. This is also an Angie Han flashy brush. It's the A507. Oh my God, thank you, Luana. I'm so happy you liked the Nikki Uncut. I have a new one coming out on Tuesday and it's gonna be a really, really, oh my God, thank you so much. I'm so happy you guys are liking the Uncut. It's just a nice way to switch up, um, you know, the, the makeup videos that I put on my YouTube channel, it's going to be more casual. Um, and just literally, we're not going to cut it. So it's going to be the full blending process. And that's that was the whole idea behind it is I want it to be a, what a true I want to give you like a true video of what the actual an actual makeup process really looks like. So that is the idea behind that like series, basically is not cutting anything out and showing you what the the reality of a makeup look is like what the actual process is so there's going to be a lot of you know parts are going to be redundant and um you can definitely skip forward but you know i'm going to show you all the blending any mistakes all of it so so far it's been so fun i love the whole idea it's been just really easy i i basically just press play on the camera i sit down i talk to you all and do a makeup look there's no like um, not that my other ones are stressful, but it's just, it's very casual, very fun. I'm going to set my under eyes with my old school Laura Mercier powder. This is the original formula. It's not the newly reformulated one. That one is in my makeup kit, but I'm going to take a powder puff and work it into my hand. If you know, this is my favorite technique for powdering my under eyes. And I'm going to look up and just lock in that under eye brightener. And then bring it out just a touch. <laughs> now, it would only be drying. Someone's asking if it's drying to do this. It would only be drying if you are already have dry under eyes. But as you can see, I have my skin's prep. I have a lot of skincare underneath. My, my eyes are, are properly hydrated. And it's actually, in reality, not a ton of product. This is not a lot of powder at all like by the time it goes from my hand to the puff it's a very thin amount so i'm not packing it on i'm not actually baking with this i'm just getting a nice thin even layer all across my under eyes and for me you know from this is a personal thing but for me i don't ever not powder my under eyes because i hate creasing under my eye i cannot stand it I'd rather not wear concealer under my eye than have a concealer that's not set and then creasing. So I'm also gonna just set this pimple because I, I did put a lot of concealer on it. I want it just to be locked into place so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna hit the top of my chin because it's a little too shiny for my liking. <laughs> when do I throw out my beauty blenders? Probably around the four month mark is when I throw out my, my beauty blenders. But I try to, truth, truthfully, I try to hold on to my personal ones for as long as I can, you know, for as long as I can, because A, they're mine. I know my face is clean. I know how I clean them is like, they're, they're staying clean. They're staying pretty sanitary. Um, and also it's just bad for the environment to keep tossing them. So I try to hold on to them as long as I possibly can. So I don't have to keep purchasing them and then throwing them out. So, um, Gwen, I, live for that Givenchy powder. I'm just out of mind personally, so I need to go out and get some more, <clears throat> but I love that powder so much. It's an incredible, incredible formula. So now I'm going to switch to bronzer. I'm not going to do a cream bronzer first. I just want to do something simple. So I'm going to use the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer. It's a powder bronzer. I wear the shade Light Medium. That's the shade. And for my powder bronzer, I love to use a 104 from BK Beauty. So I'm going to tap into it and just hit the very top of my forehead. Should we call Nikki fans roses? Oh, that's cute. Oh my God. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. I love that. 
Oh my gosh. So, a little bronzing action, just to warm up my complexion. And I'm going to switch my brush to a clean A503 from BK Beauty. Same bronzer. Just going to lightly shade around the lower part of my nose. Being bio girl. Oh my gosh, shoot. I have to, I have to check my DMs. I'm so sorry. I will check them today. I promise you. I am on it. Let's bring my eye. So just doing a little bit of shading and structure around my nose. Cute. You guys are so cute. I love the, I love how nice you all are as like a community. You're so all, you're all just so nice to each other. That just makes my day. Okay. Bronzer is on. Bronzer is done and complete. Now what I want to do now for the bottom lash line, and it's going to be a little more on the dramatic side. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my Girlactic gel liner in brown and just do a little bit on the inside of my waterline. Someone's birthday's coming up. Okay. Now what I'd like to do is take whatever bronzer I'm using and a small pencil brush. I'm gonna take this and just shade my bottom lash line. You guys see me do this all the time. These lashes are so much fun, Maggie. And I promise you I'll try to find a link to it. If I do find a link to it, it will be linked in this description. So. Stay tuned for that. Oh my God, you guys are so cute. I, my, my heart is like exploding over this. Okay, let's go back to my Girlactic mascara. I'm gonna take the detailing end, which is the small end on the opposite end of the, the lengthening side. This little tiny brush is my favorite for my bottom lashes. It just gets in there. Now I'm gonna go back to my cheeks and I have recently rediscovered the magic that is Global Glow from MAC. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Global Glow. This is like, Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments and I think, why do I ever not wear this? I should wear this every single day because it's so gorgeous on. Let me find a brush. And then just wait till you see it. It's absolutely, positively the most stunning golden highlighter in existence. So I'm just gonna put on with a old fluffy Morphe brush. And let me show you how beautiful this is. Unfortunately, it doesn't even give it justice how pretty it is in person. Ooh, that's my stomach growling. But look how pretty that is. Just gives you like this beautiful, warm, golden glow. I'm obsessed. Is my hair naturally black? My hair is naturally very, very, very dark brown but I do a gloss on it. So I gloss it black or like one N. Is it one N or two N that she uses? I think it's one N that she uses to gloss my hair. So it just gives it some more oomph. A little bit on my nose. And then I'm gonna take another small brush. And this is also BKB 207. Dip into Global Glow and then work it right in this inner tear duct. Oh, it's so pretty. 
And I did not finish my brows. I just realized, wow, totally got distracted and totally got excited for my espresso eyes. I'm really happy with this eye makeup though. This is like super fun. Just gonna blend out my crease one more time. If my eyes have the chance to crease, they will crease. It's it's just the way it is. I have very oily eyelids naturally. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab my NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen. I wear the shade gray black, so it's like a cool toned, deep, deep, deep brown. And we're gonna work on these brows before I get to my lip. Thank you so much. I've also been liking a higher, more rounded arch on my brows lately. Naturally, my brows just wanna go straight across my face. They don't wanna have like an arch at all. So I've been liking just switching it up a touch. See how that just feathers it on and just looks nice and slightly more natural. <laughs> and no, Aaron, my last name is actually LaRose. So it's just the LA doesn't stand for anything. It just is the, the, the La in my, my last name. But that would have been awesome. Imagine how cool that'd be. Okay, so brows are browing. And they're not even, so let's even out this side. Hold on, we're almost to the lip, I promise. Okay. I'm happy with that, I can move on with that. Okay, so for lip, we're gonna do a couple things. I want my lips to be very understated and just not, I don't want them to take over this look at all. So what I like to do is take a little bit leftover foundation. I'm gonna run it on my lips. and just kind of cancel out that color that I have naturally. I'm gonna go back to my Laura Mercier powder. Oh wait, hold on, sorry, I meant to do this first. Um, before I do my Laura Mercier powder, I'm gonna do a little bit of lip liner. This is the Patrick Ta lip liner in She's Strong. This is a beautiful, beautiful nude lip liner. But I will say, you know I love Patrick Ta, but I don't like the angle, the flat angle on the, the lip, brush, uh, lip pencils. To me, it's a little hard to work with personally, but the color is stunning. So lining my lips. Thank you. And then we're almost done with this look. I can't believe it. And what else, what's everyone doing the rest of their day? What do you have going on this Sunday? Work? Any fun plans? No way, Chrissy, that's hilarious. I love it. We were thinking the same thing today, huh? Clearly I need to go eat after this because my stomach is screaming at me. Oh, no worries, at least it's gonna be saved. Playing with makeup, homework, shopping. I'm at work, Manny Petty. Oh, that sounds like a great day. Dinner and bed, grocery shopping. I need to go grocery shopping too. I need more dog food. My dogs are out of all their dog food. So I have a very expensive trip to the grocery store ahead of me. Yay, me. <laughs> and Mitch and I are also gonna go 
to lunch and I'm so excited. I honestly live, it sounds dramatic, but I live for like actual quality time with Mitch because we never get it, it's super rare. So after this, we're gonna go get an actual lunch, like a sit down, lunch, catch up, talk. I'm taking more of my powder and um, just enjoy our Sunday and the rest of our weekend. So this is a part where I know it sounds a little crazy. It looks a little funny. And this is not gonna be for everyone, but this is a personal preference. I love to mat out my lip. I'm gonna go over my under eye a little bit more with this powder, just kind of press things in with whatever's left over, which is like nothing. <laughs> Just kind of press in the rest of my makeup, make sure it's nice and cohesive. It looks a little different on camera than it does in my mirror that's ahead of me, fortunately. I wish you were seeing like what it truly looks like. And now, go back to the remnants of, of um, foundation on my sponge. Don't worry, it's gonna look better in a second. And now I'm gonna go over all this powder and product on my lip. This is a personal favorite way for me to wear lip gloss because it keeps my lips, it keeps my lip gloss on for hours and hours longer than I normally would. So I'm gonna take my Fenty Lip Gloss Heat. This is like the plumping version of their gloss. I love their lip glosses. I think they're they're hyped, but for good reason. Like they've earned the right to be hyped because they are a really great lip gloss formula. I love them. But the shade that I am about to put on is Fenty Glow Heat number three. It's a number three. I wanna say this one might be limited edition. I'm not positive. I know some people had a hard time finding it and I actually had a hard time linking it recently. But yeah, here I am again. I'm gonna put it on anyway and still try to find a link for you all. Hopefully I find it. And we're gonna do some gloss. And that's gonna be the look. So I need some setting spray to lock this makeup into place. It's hot outside today. Again, we're in summer and it's very, very hot in Southern California. And then the other thing I think Mitch and I are gonna do, I think we're gonna have like a proper day and we're gonna go golfing. And when I say we, I mean, Mitch is gonna go golfing. I'm gonna lounge on a golf cart, online shop, look at things, come up with content ideas for the week. This is like what I love to do if I have, if I can get, get to go out and go golfing with Mitch. I love to just hang out on the golf cart and relax, like be forced to relax. Like if I'm home, I can't sit still. I have like, I just have to keep doing stuff. I have to keep like cleaning and like organizing and you know, it's never ending at home. Like, you know what I mean? So if I'm out on a golf cart, I, there, there's nothing else I could do. So I'm like forced to relax and be present and just be outside. It's just, it's wonderful. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to it in case you can't tell. I'm going to set my makeup with the milk makeup uh, pore eclipse mattifying setting spray. I'm gonna test the sprayer first. This one gets clogged pretty easy. Oh, that's wet and cold. But this is the makeup look. This is our <clears throat> espresso eyes that I came up with. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little more se sexy and sultry and you know, just uh, Definitely not daytime, but I don't care. I'm gonna enjoy my, my espresso smoky eyes and take my <laughs> smoky eyes to lunch during the day and then take them golfing and I don't care because you know what? Makeup is just, it's like a, a form of free speech. You can do whatever you want with makeup, whatever you feel like doing. So there's, there's rules, but there's really, at the end of the day, there's no rules. So I had fun sharing this look with you all. I hope you enjoyed it. Everything that I use, I promise you, I'll work on linking them as soon as this video is uploaded and done. But I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday. This went by so fast. I blink and these lives are over. It's so wild how fast time goes. But I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday and you get to relax and you know enjoy life and take a minute for yourself and do all those things. But thank you for taking this time to hang out with me. I really appreciate it. I'll tell Mitch that everyone said hi. He was very missed during this live. But... I love you all. Thank you so much for the support and everything. And I'll see you in my next one on Sunday. I'll definitely be back. And then stay tuned. Next Saturday is going to be the drugstore foundation video. Hopefully it gets edited and up in time. So wish us luck with that. And I'll see you all soon. Bye. Thanks for joining.